Fab Filter Volcano 3, let's dive in. Right, so this is Volcano 3 by Fab Filter, of course, and it's one of the best filters or auto filters out there. So we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you also how you can set up MIDI, at least with Cubase, but there's a lot of instructions for other DAOs. So first of all, I'm going to clear everything. Let's go clean. This is what we have. And I have many tracks here, but I, I thought, well, this one is a good example. It's already with some filtering, but we're gonna do a lot more. So first, this is how the user interface looks like. And let's go through what we, we've got. So this line, this is where you place the filter. So double click anywhere, double click, and you'll get uh, a number. So this is a multi filter. So I can create another one. And now we have two of them and you can see the routing. So this is the first thing you need to uh, kind of know. We have routing, and if you click this, you'll see that we have choices. We have uh, one going into two, right? Or we have uh, in parallel. So that's first thing. And if I'll create another one, and we'll have more choices. <laughs> and as you add more, you get more choices. This is crazy. So. Now let's go and just remove some of them. So I don't need this one and I don't need this one. And I'm just gonna pull this one up and the other one up. And so you can do that very easily. You'll see the, the, uh, the numbers here. You'll see the, the frequencies, you'll see peak, you'll see panning, and we'll talk about panning a little bit later. And we also have the type of filter. So I'm not going and explaining everything about each and every one of them, but you can experiment, listen, read the user manual. And we also have, of course, the uh, kind of uh, curves that we are uh, setting. So we have a low pass, we have high pass, bend pass, bell, a low shelf, high shelf, notch, and all pass. And so for this one, let's go with a uh, uh, low pass and for this one I'm going to go with a high pass very classical and so that's the kind of things you can do very easily and just get a static filtering right so next on the bottom here we have a lot of controls so we already uh, had a quick look at the routing and then we can also introduce drive and what you see on top of here i mean you see a couple of things first of all we can turn on and off the entire filter so which filter filter number one and you can flick through these and if you have more then you're controlling the others so notice that so when you're working on a specific uh, filter or point then uh, just make sure you're on the right spot here then of course we have the filter frequency and i can do this manually or i can do this uh, just drag here this uh, point this dot and we also have peak which is sort of the resonance and we also have slope and you can see the slopes that you have and we also have delay that we can introduce we also have the level and on top of that we have left and right so we can just go left and right and you can double click this and punch in the specific number of course and so i think what we'll do now is just get some modulations because this is where the power this is where the actual um well, i'd say magic happens so clicking add modulation you'll see that we have choices. So I'm going to show you all of them, but we'll do it quickly. I don't want to take too much time from this demo and you need to experiment and see what works for you. So first of all, the, the very first one is slider. Sl slider is really simple stuff. It's just, if you want to connect several uh, parameters or several controls into one, 
this is really useful. So I'm gonna just click this dot here, go to uh, filter two, filter one, and now I have one slider to rule them. And this is really fun stuff. So let's see how that works. And I can, of course, get them in different positions. You get the idea. So this is a slider and I can add more and more. So let's, let's see what happens when we are assigning modulations. I'm going to drag this and drop it on the pick. So the question is which pick? We'll see uh, the number here. So the pick for the first uh, filter. Right, so now you can see the peak is going up and down as we move. But what I wanted to show you here is that we have the filter modulation amount. So when you assign a modulation, you, you'll have the choice here to set how much of that modulation is going to happen. And if you're not sure what have you done before, click this dot and you'll see all the assignment for this particular modulator. Next, let's do something more, say, moving. So we have uh, a XY controller. So I can get the X and the Y to control the first and the second um, filters. So as you can see, as I'm controlling this XY, I'm practically modulating filter one and two cutoffs. Right, and the, the initial position you can set it before. So let's get an XLFO. First of all, I'm going to show you how it works just uh, uh, on its own. So I'm going to just drag that one on the first filter here, and immediately you see what happens. But let's let's dive in. So now we see the controls. First of all, we have the frequency. I mean, that's the LFO, low frequency oscillator. That's the, the frequency of the oscillation. Of course, you can um, also change this to specific um, rate, like quarters. And again, what you can do, click that dot on the top and you'll see the amount of modulations for each of the uh, controls that you're modulating. But that's not all, because what you can do is add more steps and you can shape them. You can do a lot of stuff here. All right, that's too much. Go back. So that's the kind of things you can do. Now, if you're not happy with the modulations you created, click that dot and you can remove. And now it's not modulating whatever you uh, deleted. Next, let's do something else. I'm going to clear these guys. So I'm going to click the X and let's add an envelope generator. So this is a, a, a just a usual envelope. I'm going to drag that one and connect to filter number one. And let's go in and we'll see. So you can uh, definitely recognize all the usual things uh, that you'll find in any envelope. We have the attack, the sustain, the release, uh, the hold. There's a hold here. And now what will happen when we're playing? That's the envelope. Something else that we have, let's... Uh, remove the one and go with an envelope follower. So the envelope follower follows the input signal. So I'm going to connect that one to both of the filters. And now let's play. And we can go in and we can set the attack and the release. We can also change this from envelope to transient. Right, so that's really cool stuff. So moving on, we also have 
MIDI source. So for that one, I'm going to show you how I'm, I'm using this on Cubase, but uh, for each of the DAOs, it will be different. So I'm going to go with new MIDI source and we're going to connect this to, let's say, the drive of filter one. And you'll see that when we're going in, we have a choice. So first of all, we have uh, all the uh, most common uh, MIDI controls. We have the mod wheel, we have pitch band, velocity, aftertouch, keyboard tracking, and a specific control. So if you want to map your keyboard, your MIDI controller, that's how you do it. For example, you go inside and you can control that, but that will not work using the track that you've uh, uh, inserted this plugin. You have to add another MIDI track to control it. So that's what I have here. And as you can see, I have the fab filter um, right here in Cubase. And so now what I can do, let's go back to mod wheel and we'll see that I can actually control this. And, and you can see that here. So right now this, uh, this assignment is not going all the way. So let's go all the way. And you can see this uh, purple arch here. And this is what we have. So I'm on this extra MIDI, uh, MIDI track that controls the, uh, the volcano. And how I do that? Well, I'm going into, uh, into the MIDI here. I'm accepting all MIDI inputs and going into the, uh, this particular track, Fab Filter Volcano 3. Oh, before I forget, we have something else that I didn't show you and that was the left and right. So let's go just a step back here, going to clean this and show you something. So first of all, I'm going to create again, going to create those uh, mountain peaks, these volcano peaks, and now I'm going to have modulation and let's go with XLFO. We'll do this and this. Let's listen. Right, well, what I can also do, let's add another one. And I'm going to get that one on the ring. So you'll see what happens. And now we have different kind of uh, thing going on. You'll see that we have different lines for left and right. So we're sort of uh, filtering differently the left and right. And we can click this and set the amount. So make sure to listen with headphones or with uh, studio monitors, not your uh, iPhone. What I'm thinking is let's go and just check out some of the presets and, you know, just try to see some of the crazy stuff you can do with Volcano 3. So I'm really um, excited about this one. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video.